Good day, and thank you for checking out the ACS Library. My name is Kyle, and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in just five minutes a day. In today's super short video, we discuss how pilot technique, aircraft configuration, and airport environment affect performance. I hope you all don't mind me combining these three subjects in one video. We will discuss the effects altering conditions will have on landing performance in a Piper Archer. The same general effects will often apply to takeoff performance, maneuvering performance, cruise performance, and so on for almost all aircraft. I think most people can probably guess how not adhering to the POH prescribed pilot techniques, aircraft configurations, and airport environments might affect performance, so we will keep this video really brief and use extreme examples to make the effects obvious. Let's refer to the landing distance chart in the Piper Archer's POH. Typically in the notes for any performance chart, we are provided the necessary aircraft configuration and often a thing or two about technique and airport environment. We see that the distances are based on a landing with closed throttle, 40 degrees of flaps, a 66 knot approach to a full stall touchdown, and maximum braking applied on a paved, dry, level runway. If we were to alter pilot technique, for instance, not applying maximum braking upon touchdown, we would certainly have a much longer ground roll than portrayed by this chart. Next, let's alter aircraft configuration. If we kept the throttle at 2,700 RPM instead of at idle, rather than nailing the 1,000 footers, we might expect to land in another state. Of course, remaining even 100 RPM above idle would increase landing distance. Lastly, if we were to alter the environment, landing on a downward sloping, icy runway, we could expect to slide quite a bit further than we might on a dry level one. It is important to keep in mind that the performance values in the POH are typically calculated using proper pilot technique under standard atmospheric conditions to a dry, paved, level runway with no winds present. I know that we used extreme examples, but to sum up the main idea of this ACS topic, we can simply state the following. Any change in pilot technique, aircraft configuration, or aircraft environment will almost always increase the distance between actual and expected performance data. This concludes today's video discussing the effects of pilot technique, aircraft configuration, and aircraft environment on performance. As always, thank you so much for checking out the ACS library. If you've learned something from today's video, I hope that you might like or share it. If you're interested in seeing more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to the right of that to enable notifications. Questions and feedback are always welcome in the comments section. Thanks again and safe flying.